Hello, it is Kitty Blue. It is August the 31st. It is Labor Day weekend, and I am coming live in my doll room. Um, I figured this would be a better place to do most of my videos um, from now on, except for probably box opening videos, because, you know, I'd have to clear out some space. Um, but this is a partially finished doll room. Um, I have bookshelves that um, my boyfriend put up for me in the background there. And um, so now I can have them all displayed out instead of all like on top of each other in a small space. Um, let's get on to it though. Since it's a long weekend and I have four days, two more days left because it is Saturday already, I decided to catch up on some of my BJD Addicts re um, responses for the BJD Addicts um, prompts. And I'm going to combine number 39 and 40 into one video since there's not a lot of information that I can give on either. Um, and we'll just get started. Uh, so number 39 BJD Addict prompt was uh, face up tricks and tips. Um, unfortunately, I don't have a lot of tips and tricks for you because I'm not a professional face up artist. Um, I just I'm very immature at it. I, I do a decent job on some of the face ups that I've done on a few of my dolls, um, but I definitely don't, you know, consider myself the best person to give advice on this situation. Um, my only advice would probably be to research. Um, there's a lot of tutorials here on YouTube. Uh, if you're on Den of Angels, you know, there's tons of, you know, threads and stuff like that regarding face-ups, um, regarding the, the right materials and stuff that you should use on your dolls. Um, even Facebook has a lot of groups now uh, for BJD groups. And, uh, you know, just there's a lot of different doll forums as well, you know, all over the Internet. So I would definitely just do your research. Um, if at all possible, you I would probably suggest not to, you know, buy just a cheap like pastel set. I would go ahead and, you know, put a little money towards, you know, a high quality, like artist grade um, pastels because they seem to go on a little bit nicer and the pigments are a little bit um, brighter. So you won't have to use as much, which means that you won't have to spray as many layers on your doll. And that would probably be the biggest thing because um, I have been using testers a lot. Um, if you get it in a, you know, your regular like hobby shop or something like that or a craft store. Um, and it's not, it's not the greatest. Um, and I mean, it does a job, but I think I have to put more layers on that on testers than I do on with MSC. Um, and then there's purity seal as well that I heard that a lot of people use, um, especially on like dark resin dolls, because sometimes MSC I think can, um, what I've heard is they can kind of make it look kind of pale, almost like um, filmed over, just because of the the resin colors. And that's not really I've I've seen some dolls like that, and it's it's really odd because it's like the head is like you know two or three shades like lighter than the rest of the body, and that's just I mean it's not attractive to me, so um, like I said, I would just definitely do my research. Um, other things that I've used, um, I have used some acrylic paints, but I'm not the best with paint, and I'm not the best with watercolor pencils either. Um, I have kind of a hard, like, heavy hand at painting and um, doing, you know, illustration with, like, watercolor pencils and stuff like that. I just don't have that, like, you know, really light, fine touch to do, like, tiny little detail work. So um, I usually mostly pastels and um, I started doing, you know, I started like having some people that I know do some face ups for me because they know what they're doing. I see the dolls that they've done and um, I think it's wonderful and I kind of like to support, you know, my friends and stuff like that um, by giving them, you know, giving them a little bit of my money to make my doll look fabulous. So um, like I said, that's very short. I'm sorry I don't have that much information on the um, tips and tricks on face-ups. Since, you know, I don't want to give you any misinformation. I'd rather, you know, you go out and just, you know, do do a lot of research and see what, what has worked for other people, especially, you know, professional, you know, ones that are doing face-ups nowadays. So, um, but if you do start doing face-ups, just practice, practice, practice. That's what I've been told. I unfortunately usually don't have a lot of time, so I haven't done a lot of that. So I hope you have fun doing that. So let's just move on to the next prompt then. 
So we have number 40, which is what to do about roommates. Again, this is going to be very short because I don't have any roommates. I have a boyfriend. Um, we do, we have a house together, but I started collecting BJDs after I met him. Um, I did have other dolls, but he saw the other dolls because some of them I had out on display. So I, I'm not much of a person to hide anything. So that's just me. That's like, you know, I know who I am. I'm comfortable with who I am. And if, you know, I don't mind that other people know that I might, you know, have some kind of hobby that might seem weird to them or, or different or strange or whatever, um, which I don't think it is. I mean, everybody's got some type of, of hobby to where they collect things. You know, I know tons of people that collect action figures or comic books. You know, it's just, you know, it's different things or, you know, people collect cars, you know, like real cars, matchbox cars. So I don't think really BJDs is any different than anything else. Um, just some people think they're creepy. But I guess I would just say that, you know, as far as like roommates and stuff like that, just, you know, keep an eye on your dolls. Um, get to know your roommate if it's somebody that you don't know. Um, just get to, know, get to know them maybe before introducing your dolls to them or anything like that. Or, I don't know, just stick one, stick one on the shelf and see if the person even notices, you know. Maybe find out if they have a doll phobia first. That that might be a good good idea. <laughs> but um, anyways, so that's it for um, BG Edit Prompts response for number 39 and 40. So I will be doing a few other ones tonight since, like I said, I have a long weekend and I plan on doing lots of um, dog-related things. So see you later. Take care.